Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing Daddy Dutch uh, famous jalapeno popper sandwich. We're gonna be using half a pound of uh, mild Italian sausage, some uh, thick sliced bacon, some cream cheese, uh, some cheese uh, blend, uh, French bread, and some Uncle Steve's uh, competition uh, pig shake and smoke bomb. Smoke bomb will go on the sausage. The pig shake will go on the outside. To the sausage. I'm gonna add two spoonfuls. This is actually about one full size um, teaspoon, but uh, it's easier to do two half uh, uh, teaspoons. Cooking up the sausage on the black stone with the smoke bomb. It smells fantastic, man. Sausage is almost done. Gonna be prepping the cottage, excuse me, the cream cheese. And I forgot to select the jalapeno, so I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. And then I'll come back when we have the sandwiches ready to be prepped and put back on the blackstone. All right, the mix mixture is complete. Have the sausage, the cream cheese, the three uh, seeded uh, sliced jalapenos, and uh, the uh, cheese blend that I got from the store. I'm gonna start making these little sandwiches and then. I will show you how they cook on the Blackstone. So after wrapping the uh, sandwiches with bacon, I'm going to hit them on the top with a little bit of the uh, competition uh, pig shake. Put them on the grill. A little bit of butter. Everything is on low on the blackstone. Take your sandwich and put them um, season side down. Let's see how many can fit down here. Put a little color on that bottom side. A little bit more of the competition pig streak on the top. And wait for them to brown. Cook the sausage. Excuse me, cook the bacon. I'm gonna have a couple that will have the bacon in them already. I cooked these uh, before I started the uh, sausage. Bacon uh, is cooking on both sides. I'm clipping them on their side so they can cook on the edges here. I'll flip these over and a little bit on the opposite side and they should be ready in a few minutes. We've been snacking away on these sandwiches and kind of forgot to record. But uh, I made two different sandwiches, one wrapped in the bacon and one with the bacon uh, wrapped inside. The one with the bacon inside is a whole lot crispier than the original. I like these better. Sandwiches were great. I recommend you go out and make them yourself. And again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.